Fury Red! I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Man, you need to lighten up. Hell, you might even try smiling. On second thought, maybe frowning suits you better. Hey, don't pout! <laughs> hey, Look. fucking... Hmm? Oh, 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 oh! Are you guys seeing this? We're in Chapter 18. <laughs> What is all this? Something wrong, sir. Stand by, sir. Your orders. Bring them in. It's like the whole damn building's made of them. Yeah. I don't understand. What are they doing? You and me both, Tifa. You don't think he got caught up in it, do you? If he did, I hope he's okay. <sighs> They're coming. Who? <gasps> this we don't need. Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on, jump on it. I'm trying, but it won't go any faster. How the hell do we get out with this jump? It was Tifa's choice. All 
Alright, another motorcycle level. Damn, hey, I figured it out. Come on. today. Damn it! Hell 
yeah! That is a sharp sword. Dangerous to get on the side of this thing, but I'm doing it. Hey, Ow. Alright, come on. Holy shit. Get out of the way. Alright, these wheels are mine. Come on. Regenerate? Uh oh. Come on, get behind him. Come on, go, 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 go. Ah, come on. Go. Fuck! 
Fuck, I ran right into that. Come on. Let me get on the other side. This should make you stronger. Be the last bit. I don't want any trouble. Then this might be it. Ah! Still got to fight in you. You need me. Uh. No ah! Got one of them, damn it. Damn it. Alright. Uh, one more. Ah, uh, come on. Get up there! Gotcha! Okay, y'all, let's finish him off! Come on. Longest highway in the world! Go for the head! With pleasure. All the way up, MPs all the way up. Are we just walking? More feathers.
Okay, asshole, let's... Don't! And you... You're wrong. Those who look with clouded eyes see nothing but shadows. Everything about you is wrong. All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. The world won't end today. For you. You will. Unfortunately, I know he won't because I've seen the Rebirth trailers, but... That's alright, I'll go along with it. Listen. Destiny comes. Ah! What the hell? Drag our asses all this way. This is the welcome we get. Zack? <sighs> boy, oh boy. The price of freedom is steep. your dreams and whatever happens protect your honor as a soldier come and get it the hell was that about How is the game going to tell me that before it lets me go? Destiny's Crossroads. And why did you stop me? I'm not really sure. What will we find on the other side? Freedom. The promised land? Boundless, terrifying freedom. Like a great, never-ending sky. What you heard just now were the voices of the planet. 
those born into this world, who lived and who died, who returned, are howling in pain. Because of him, Sephiroth? They... their words... they don't reach him. All these moments and memories, precious and fleeting, they're like rain rolling off his back. And when they're gone, he won't cry or shout or anything. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet, that he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. There's no greater threat to the planet than him. Sephiroth has to be stopped. He has to be. And that's why... I'm asking you to help me. I know that together, we can do this. But if we do... We'll be changing more than fate itself. If we succeed, if we win, we'll be changing ourselves. I guess... Maybe... That's why I hesitated. Well, it sounds like we can't stay here. You said it yourself. He has to be stopped. That also scared the shit out of me. And frankly, I've heard enough howling for a lifetime. When you cross the barrier of whispers, strange and terrible things may be waiting on the other side. Before making the leap, make sure your party is well rested and well stocked with equipment and materia. The vending machine back on the expressway will have everything you need. Alright, fuck. I might as well just go spend all my money. Alright. Here we go. You guys are ready. Ready? Let's do it. Never tried to challenge destiny. This could well be her last line of defense. It won't be easy. Let's go. about you, but looks normal to me. Over there! Uh, 
that doesn't look normal. Christ, what is this, the dark place? Fast sword that can only cut through concrete and metal, but never through people. Shit, 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 shit. Come on. Can't it just smash us to pieces? Now we gotta fight these ones? Oh 
Okay, Tifa, I guess you can go forward instead of me. What is happening? That's the second time she's had to save you, Cloud. the fucking if you use the wrong spell on them it fucking heals them calling intercession damn it we got to get out of here now Jesus fucking Christ. What? Is happening. What the hell did I just see? A glimpse of tomorrow if we fail you today. What?
literally fucking impossible to do anything, man. You can't dodge shit. Jesus fucking Christ. Shit, is that the Earth? This no. Can't be our future. <gasps> but it's gonna be. The future is always a blank page. Uh, them again! At least they can do is give us a little breather. I say we split up. Take them down at the same time. In that case, Ultra Big Boy is all mine. Bring it on, bitch. Yeah, bitch. is this thing It's fucking uh Bahamut It looks just like the fucking final the final form of fucking uh Oh god damn it what was this goddamn name Ultima That's a Bahama move. Holy shit! Shit. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, dude. He is fucking us up. God damn. Watch yourself. I'll show you what I can do. I'll put down ice. It's your turn. Let's do this. Jesus Christ, are you done? Go on. Ah. Holy 
Holy shit. Damn it! One more shot. There we go. Damn it! Last vision.
No fucking way. Let's finish this. Damn! Fate is not to be taken lightly. Shut up! Shit. Whatever. Well, well. Let's finish this. <laughs> Don't know how I did that. Uh-oh. The planet will claim you. Do you dream of me? Need a light? Ah. Uh. You are trifling. Ah. Well, well. Come on. Now you have to play. Oh. What the fuck? Did you miss Whoa. it? <laughs> yeah, so what? Screw him. Begs oh, for okay. Oh, fuck. Fucking hell. Move out of the way. Okay. So it's my turn? <laughs> One more shot! <laughs> Damn it! Going in. Well, well. Got fucking wings. Tifa. Thank God for that somersault. What I miss. Let's go. Beg for forgiveness. Switch up what you're using mid fucking fight. Oh. 
Two summons. One fight. I guess this is a different one. Maybe I should have saved it for when he was going fucking frozen. Time now. Fucking, where'd he go? I can't do anything. lies ahead does not yet exist our world will become a part of it one day but I will not end nor will I have you end this is The edge of creation. Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. Never. Yeah. 
Did any of that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not yet. <sighs> Seven seconds till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. <sighs> what? Mr. Vice President. Mr. President. That's right. So sick of villains laughing when nothing is funny. It's gotta be an alternate universe. It's gotta be. Wait. Is that all of them? What? Say cloud. Maybe it's a different timeline and point in time. Oh, what the fuck is going on?
What the fuck? Is Biggs alive? Is he still out there? I. I thought you beat him. We can. We will. Count me in. If it's to be a hunt, you could use a nose like mine. Bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? An enemy of hers is an enemy of Avalanche. Hmm. I'm guessing they haven't had rain for a while. It's about to get fucking crazy, isn't it? Almost there, Cloud. Oh, we're almost there. What? Unknown journey will continue. Time after time, be shining brightly. Well, well, well. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, give me a. Just give me a couple seconds here. Motomu, co-director. Yeah, okay. Motomu Toriyama. Story and scenario. Kas Kasushigen Nojima. I think the director. Hmm. I don't know, cause I I've been watching uh, Final Fantasy 16. I I think. And maybe it's not even worth saying, but I think the director is the one who wrote the screenplay for Final Fantasy 16, but this one was written by somebody else. Um, holy shit, man. <sighs> that ending. That ending. I gotta tell you, that whole... The whole probably last, what, 30 minutes? From the moment we walked through that portal... Hmm... 
Maybe a little bit before then. I'd say the whole 18th chapter was more or less what I had kind of hoped for through the rest of the game. That was really, uh, like, an awesome way to end it. And maybe, you know, maybe what this... this game does is essentially set up what will be... you know, part two and part three. There's two more parts that are supposed to come out. I imagine they're of equal length, if not longer. Um... I, uh... That's just has so much right there at the end. There's still so much that we don't know. And I knew that, you know, this being one of three installments of an entire game, that it was going to be, um... There was definitely going to be some stuff that weren't was not going to be answered. I just, yeah, I, I knew that was going to be the case. Um... I'm trying to think of... I don't know. I'm, tr I'm just trying to digest a little bit. My head's kind of all over the place. Uh, let me just start with what's at the top of my head, I guess, and I'll just go on a tangent. Um, as a standalone game, obviously this is not the entire story, so it's not fair to judge Final Fantasy VII as a whole. Uh, but... I mean, I think it's been pretty clear if you if you've kept up to this point of the of the you know the videos that I've been uploading and, and heard me play, it's clear that I've had my frustrations. I I've been fairly fed up with certain story choices, the way that it tells the story, the um, amount of you know run around is what I, uh, one word filler another. I mean, just like things that are in the game. Either things set to block your path from going forward, whether that be just endless waves of enemies that don't really have an explanation for why they're there, or if it's a puzzle, or some sort of blockage that is like, uh, you gotta turn something on first, or you have to go around these curated levels that are so coincidentally broken in the way that it's not a straight path every single time. Uh, it just takes me out of it, and, um, I don't know, I, I know that I felt it to some degree in Final Fantasy 16. I know because I, I remember that being one of my major gripes of the reason why it wasn't a perfect 10 out of 10. But in this one, it was just, uh, I don't know if it's the fact that I wasn't able to forgive, um, the way that it was telling the story. There might be something here. I'm just gonna hold off on saying anything else for a second. Okay. Alright. Like I was saying, I don't know if it's because I was so so obsessed with the story that was being told in Final Fantasy 16 is the reason why I forgave it, or it just felt like I, I was lesser burdened by all those extra things that I had to do in Final Fantasy 16, but it just felt so, I mean, so much more prominent in this game. Uh, this is technically older than 16. 16 came out, what was it, beginning of 2023? Um, and this game came out in 2020, which is crazy that the second part to this is coming out in 2024, who knows when the part three is going to come out, you know, 2028, but I mean, ugh. just like looking at some of these cutscenes, I just, I, it took me such a, I, I remember in the first two hours of fucking Final Fantasy 16, and I'm so sorry if it, if I sound like I'm just completely bitching, and, and just being, you know, sucking the cock, just absolutely glazing Final Fantasy 16, 
but I can't I can't stop comp it was my first and I'm so glad that it was my first experience with Final Fantasy because if it was like this I, I mean I just I don't know it it might be a little bit harder to to expect you know better I just I fuck man the first two hours the opening of Final Fantasy 16 had me ha mouth agaped like I was I was so overwhelmed with how well they they did that story. It felt so mature. It felt like Hollywood screenplay. I don't know why this just felt fucking childish. So much. I mean, obviously it's got adult themes. Tifa's tits are fucking bouncing every three seconds. Every chick is trying to fucking, you know, more or less suck the dick of, of the main character Cloud. They've got cursing like... It's got adult themes, I get that, but something about it is just so... So... It's not... The type of... There are some serious action scenes, but it's just, it's weird. The in-between stuff seems so... Um... It's too over the top. It's... It's not... It's not, like, real. It's not, like, nobody acts like this, except for people... People that watch too much anime. Like, I don't know... <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Like, there is... There's not a real group of people that would at all act like these people did. And... Uh... I mean, that's to say... I mean, it's obviously, it's not made to be... A real scenario, obviously, it's all fantasy. And I get that argument, but... Dude, Final Fantasy 16, the best way that I could, I could, like, summarize it for somebody that didn't know what it was, it was like playing Game of Thrones and... like an MCU superhero movie in its prime. In MCU's prime. Because I know they've been kind of shit recently, but... Like, that- it's like the two of those had a baby. The visual effects of all the fights were just fucking absolutely insane. The monsters were crazy. And then Game of Thrones in the way that, like, there was blood. People died. Like, Cloud's carrying around a fucking giant sword that cuts through concrete and steel, but every time he fights somebody, they just, like, get knocked out. Like, why- the- the choice to differentiate these two different mature themes and make some of it so ultra lighthearted, almost like it's being padded for children. And <sighs> I don't know. It's got like it's just not. Um, it it wasn't something that I. The parts that I just absolutely held on to were the moments where people acted like real people, and and maybe like when the drama really started going up in, in factor. When, 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 uh, when, fuck, when Barrett was talking about, um, damn it, I think there was a scene on, on the helicopter pad where he was, he actually sounded like a real person. And, and for sure, there was that scene with Aerith where she was explaining everything, like, you know, Destiny and all that, and and the the planet and it, it, the portal was there. She was like, it was super dramatic. Everybody was fucking huddled around, like, what what do we do? The world is ending, like, and she has to explain. You know, we got to do this. We could all die, whatever. Uh. Okay, what the fuck? Did you see that? Th those cutscenes with the the dress. Is that the dress? Why? What? So some of it changes. Obviously the pink dress there, but I wonder if it's whether or not you win the coin flip. Which that would be interesting. Um, in which case, well, yeah, we definitely missed out. That red dress looked a lot better. Okay, uh, so, I mean, and, and I do think stuff like that is cool. That there are different things that could possibly happen in the game. And so it gives it a little bit of replayability. But oh my god, thinking of all the shit that you have to go through in order to replay... That definitely is a huge deterrent. Some of the characters just like were not I clear up to the end. Even when I saw Barrett get stabbed, like I just wasn't I didn't care. Like 
I do- I did start warming up to Barrett a lot more than when I originally- when he was originally brought on, which, which from the very beginning. But for the most part, when I saw him got stabbed, I didn't care. The person I cared about the most that fucking died was Jess. And... Which is crazy, because I actually... There was that, and then Marlene, the little girl, when she was scared, and Aerith came to, to help her, she was the first character that made me feel something. Like... To make me feel some sort of sadness. And... Fuck, dude. By the end of Final Fantasy 16, I had already cried a multitude of times. I was damn near sobbing at the end. It's just... I don't know. There was such a deeper connection I had. Because it felt real. The characters felt real. The actors portrayed the characters and it felt real. This is probably the style that they were going for, but I just cannot... I don't fuck with it like everybody else does. And maybe, you know, maybe it's a nostalgia thing for most people. Um... Maybe that, you know, that's... I, and not to say, I don't I don't see anybody ranting and raving and saying that the remake of Final Fantasy VII is the best ever. Primarily, the from what I've heard, is that, like, the original Final Fantasy VII is what's at the top of the list for most people that played Final Fantasy games. I can't imagine... I've seen, I've seen screenshots. I can't imagine that I could ever go back, play that game, and really enjoy it. It's just too old. It's too old. I'm too far gone. If I'm comparing this... To Final Fantasy 16's experience, there's no way in hell the original is gonna fucking get any nicer of a treatment. I, um... I just, I was expecting a whole lot from this. And I, and I still am. Like I said, it's not fair for me to judge the entire thing when I've only got one third of the story. But this was a huge, if this was all just exposition... Fuck, dude, I still have so many questions, and I'm sure that's intentional. Uh, I don't really have- I mean, I, I have a sense of, like, um, of closure in the fact that finally I don't have to, you know, try to finish it anymore. Now I can just wait for Rebirth to come out and then I can play that. Um, but I mean, good lord, man. N like, not really a whole lot paid off, uh, by the end of the game. Some of it did, and I- and I am grateful that, you know, some of it feels good, but these cloaked motherfuckers, like, <sighs> The, the the villains that are over the top is just I don't know I don't know it's a totally different style than what 16 was I feel grateful and and you know the thing is that um I I've been seeing so much that 16's not doing as well as they had probably hoped Square Enix is losing money and or maybe they're not losing money I mean fuck they're still making billions of dollars but uh they are not doing as well as they'd hoped and and I think it's, like, showing, you know, maybe they, they're taking that as, like, people aren't happy with, uh, 16's performance. Me, I can't imagine, like, I just really, I don't know, I wish some bigger names had, had gotten into the game and, and really tried it because, god damn, it, it was so good and I would hate for them to go into any other direction other than what they did with that game. Like, I'm so proud of it. Uh, and I'm so happy that I got to experience it. And maybe that's all I should just, you know, be grateful that it even exists. Um, it would just suck that if nothing... Nothing like that were to ever happen again, but... Uh... I did get a little bit more into this game as far as, like, the, uh, intri intricate mechanics. Um, like, upgrading weapons and, 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 and the different materia and stuff like that. Obviously, I, I, I kept it very bare bones and I cut out a lot of the scenes where I was doing the manual stuff because I'm just trying to keep out all the boring shit so that, you know, people might stick around. The cutscenes are really what I'm here for anyway. Um, yeah, this is just another case of they added so much extra shit that they didn't need to and, uh... They just, I, yeah, I, I feel like, I feel like these games add so much more to try and, and you know, some of it is the style of game, like, some people live for this type of shit. Me, not so much, I'm just one guy, just one opinion, but I can't stay away from these fucking games with these 
cutscenes that look like this. They're so good. The graphics are absolutely wonderful. I'm, I'm kind of pissed at myself. I read an article today that said that you have to manually switch over to um, graphics mode rather than performance mode. Uh, and there was like an article saying that, you know, it recommends to do that when you boot up Rebirth. And I was like, I wonder if it's the same deal with this fucking game. Sure enough, I checked and uh, I had to switch it and it hurt my eyes for a minute, the low frame rate, but I got used to it and I hope you did too. I feel like I robbed most of the series of its visual potential with that. I'd even gone as, mu as far as complaining a few things here and there on like the low texture quality on certain surfaces. It was probably just that setting. Um, it's... I have... I'm still gonna stick with it. I'm still gonna play Rebirth. You know? At this point, I'm I'm in it. I, I can't have thrown away... Um, can't have thrown away all this time just to stop here, so... Let's see if there's anything else, and I'll add, I'll add anything to the end if I need to. <laughs> okay, chapter selections now been unlocked. Open the main menu. Yeah, yeah, this is a great way to tackle uncompleted quests, find story elements you missed the first time through, and more thoroughly explore Midgar. Story elements? Hmm. Wonder what it could be talking about. Hard difficulty is now unlocked. Uh, items cannot be used, and only HP is restored at rest spots. Jesus Christ. Uh, however, certain manuscripts are only available in this difficulty setting. Play log. A record of your adventure can be viewed. The log contains information from battle records to story branches. Ooh. I kind of want to see that. Bonus XP and AP, uh, twice as much. New combat simulator skipping. The bike minigame? The bike minigame? What the fuck is the bike minigame? Is it just talking about the motorcycle? Uh, I don't... I don't know. You now have access to a portion of the story that revolves around a new character, Yuffie? Oh, yeah. There's a whole DLC called Intermission. Fuck. I might need to play that. Son of a bitch. If it's important to the story, I'll look that up after this. And if it is, fuck it, I'll probably play it. There are three different dresses for Cloud, three different dresses for Tifa, and three different dresses for Aerith? What? Chapter 14 resolutions witnessed. Chapter 14. What the fuck was in chapter 14? In search of hope, after rescuing Wedge, the group returns to Sector 5, but there's still no sign of Aerith. Just wanted to add in a little note here. Uh, I went and found out what the chapter 14 resolutions were. Apparently it was that scene that we had in the flower bed, Aerith's flower bed with, with Barrett. And there are two other resolutions to that. You can either see Tifa out there, or you can see, uh, surprisingly, Aerith out there. Um, I went through and I watched the other two uh, that didn't include Barrett. And, uh, you know, I'm a little upset that I couldn't find more evidence on the internet saying that there were side quests or certain things that mattered to the story. Because... Uh, essentially you had to, you had to do certain side quests or a certain amount of side quests with, you know, uh, these, these other characters in order to unlock these different resolutions. But even that being said, I think that having watched all three and, and you know, it's, it's kind of, you have to, it's like picking one or picking neither in terms of Tifa and Aerith. And it's either you pick Tifa or you pick Aerith. Or you pick neither one of them, and you end up with Barrett. <laughs> and so, this seems most canonically, I don't know if that's how you would say that, but the most correct way the story would be told if it went with Aerith. 
Uh, she's not who I would have chosen, nor does it seem like the story naturally tells um, that Cloud has like a big interest in her. But it definitely does seem as though the scene with her in the garden and this interaction between the two of them is very significant to the story of what's going to happen or, you know, things that have kind of happened. Uh, I'm going to play it here. I got this footage from Video Gamers EU. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can watch all three of these resolutions um, provided by that account. But uh, yeah, I'm going to drop that Aerith scene here just because I feel like it fits the story uh, better than the Barrett scene did. The Barrett scene wasn't bad. Um, I just think that the Aerith scene is better, and it's also very interesting. By the way, if you go to watch all three of those scenes, a very big warning, don't look at the comment section. Pretty big spoilers in that fucking thing. And uh, I know the game, the original game is really old, but, you know, I don't, I, I, whatever. Don't look at it. Anyways, here's that scene. How is this? Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. So what? You want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. Your mom's really worried, too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? Uh, of course I am. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Really. Is that... Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... <sighs> you need to embrace this moment. Right? I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared. For all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But... But whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. Even if you think you have, it's not real. Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want, thank you. Well, 
that's kind of interesting. Maybe I'll have to look those up. Some manuscripts can only be obtained in hard difficulty. Hmm. I'm definitely behind on this shit. It's fucking... <sighs> We're like two weeks out from... Uh, less than, uh, well, at the time of recording, less than two weeks out from uh, the next game coming out. Uh, cannot leave the main menu at this time. Okay, well, let me just finish up. Um, I kind of lost my train of thought at this point, but, uh, I, I'm gonna be continuing with the game. Uh, I'll be playing Rebirth. I, I've gone this far. I'm not gonna back out now. I want to see how everything pans out. I've got so many questions that need to be answered. Um, it's just, uh, it's not, it's not what I hoped it would be, but... I think that's okay, um, because 16 does exist. I don't. I don't need a game to be more like 16 because there's 16 available, and uh, I can always replay that. I can always rewatch it. It's just I. Um, I think I got a little bit hyped with everyone saying that Seven was their favorite, and well, I guess we'll have to see how it continues to be. I am not gonna waste too much time here trying to think of what else to say. So I think I'll just go ahead and end it right here. If you made it to this part of the video, you might as well subscribe because why the hell not? You listen to me go on this entire tangent. Um, you might as well see what comes next. And if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on your way out the door, or dislike, I mean, maybe tell me your own thoughts about what you think my thoughts are. Did you love 7? Did you love the remake? Did you play 16? What did you think of that? Which Final Fantasy, you know, is your favorite in your opinion? But, um, if you want to see what happens next, I hope you'll see me in the next one. Thanks again.